This is one of my personal biggest fears. Being in, being in the car with your kids, someone comes along, runs a red light, or goes through a stop sign, crashes into the side of your vehicle, and T-bones you, and kills, possibly kills or severely injures you or your children, and particularly your kids, right? That's your number one biggest concern, it is for me. I went through a roundabout three days ago, and it was a, there was a taxi driver, and he didn't care. He, well, I had the right of way, and he just drove straight through this roundabout. I slammed my brakes on, and this just prevented him from hitting the passenger side of the vehicle, which was where my son Jack and my son Cal, they were sitting on that side of the car. And this leads me to think, you know what? If I'm gonna buy a new car here and think about ho hopefully, you know, making sure my kids aren't involved in these sort of crazy accidents that have been happening lately, you want something like this. If you wanna have a vehicle that is gonna give you, I wouldn't say bulletproof, but close to bulletproof protection, the Cybertruck is it. I mean, it's been T-boned now. It's been hit from behind by big trucks. It's been head-on smashed into by a Toyota Corolla. In every instance, the Cybertruck has been virtually indestructible. It's, it's quite incredible. It's almost like a tank. This latest accident where a Nissan vehicle has driven through a red light and smashed into the side of a Cybertruck, T-boned it, it really proves my point here. I'm, I'm not in any way exaggerating. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to see you. A Nissan Sentra has T-boned a Tesla Cybertruck. Um, yeah, I mean, looking at these images, you can see the Sentra is smashed badly. Whoever the absolute wanker was that was driving that vehicle, well, they've paid the price. They've gone through a red light and they've driven into the side of the Cybertruck. Now, if you look at the Cybertruck you closely, you can see that the tires have been deflated. There, there is, um, the Cybertruck you can see is sort of leaning downwards. There's a little bit of a dent on the driver's side door. Uh, there's a little bit of damage, very, very minimal, almost. To be honest, if you weren't looking hard, I don't think you'd even notice it. Guys, if that is not indestructible, Considering what has happened here, usually what happens right in a crash with a, a T-bone incident like this, the vehicle is just smashed right in, right? And the person sitting in that uh, that passenger side, you know, good chance, good luck, that good chance they might have been killed. But in this case, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm absolutely shocked. More 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 companies should make pickup trucks um, or cars in general. They should construct them <laughs> like the Cybertruck is constructed because. They're virtually indestructible. Now, some people think the Cybertruck is so strong that it won't be able to be sold in Europe or in China or other countries worldwide. It's just, it's too strong. Now, I don't think that's true. Elon Musk believes that's not correct. And I think he probably knows, understands those safety standards better than we do, but who knows? We'll wait and see. Hopefully it is sold in Australia because I have a pre-order. So images and footage, as you can see here, it, this was in Tampa in Florida and they've been shared on social media there was a Nissan Sentra on Himes, S. Himes Avenue that ran a red light, hit the, hit, hit the Cybertruck. Now, both vehicles have left the scene on a flatbed truck. Uh, the Tesla damage is so minimal because all that there is is the passenger side, very, very minimal sort of scratches to the fender, the front and rear doors, two flat tires. There could be some serious structural damage, but I mean, we can't see any at this point and there might not be any at all. It's kind of hard to tell. The Nissan, though, you can see it's it's been destroyed. The entire front end of the sedan has been folded up to the windshield. Now, there are people saying that this makes Cybertrucks a menace on the road. They shouldn't be allowed. They're too strong. Have you ever heard of anyone say this before? Have you ever heard? I mean, if Ford were to have brought out the Cybertruck, they'd be marketing the hell out of this thing. They'd be saying, look at our trucks, they're the strongest trucks ever made. And Americans would be going, yeah, Ford, yeah, Ford, strong, Ford, tough. You know, there wouldn't be any controversy. I don't think there would be. I think Ford would be just saying, hey, isn't this wonderful? They're so safe and so strong. But because it's Tesla, the media are having a bit of a field day. They're just saying, we told you the Cybertruck was too strong. It's a tank. It shouldn't be allowed on the roads. Yeah, guys, what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. You can see the Sentra's passenger door was still able to open to let the passenger out though, which is kind of nice. And you know, 
I'm going to guess that they've suffered a bit of shock. Not that I could care less if you run a red light. You're an absolute douche in my opinion. So what do you guys think about this scenario? You know, I personally think um, companies uh, should be basically looking at Tesla and saying, how are they making this thing so strong? Maybe we need to make our vehicles stronger. Keep in mind though, electric cars in general are definitely structurally stronger than other cars, especially vehicles with structural battery packs and gear castings. Tesla vehicles, of course, have scored five-star safety. It's the safest cars in the world. Um, vehicles from BYD who are also using CTB technology, which is structural battery packs, they've also gotten some amazing safety scores as well. So electric cars now, if you want a safe car, you've, you've pretty much got to buy an EV. That's my opinion, but it's not really opinion. It's really just fact. Thanks for watching.